This is a pair of 6 volt batteries with a charger which I am using for supplying the 12 volts for the circuit. This is kind of a breadboard, an improvised breadboard and I have here the relay. This is a different kind of relay but anyway it works the same. Then from the coil of the relay the wires go here and here to this couple of nails. This is a place where I will put the diode. Then another wire goes from the on one side of the coil to the positive terminal where I'm going to connect my battery positive. Okay, then from the other side of the relay you see the diode here is going to be connected here and then here is a collector of the transistor the base and the emitter. The emitter goes to the other input from the battery, the negative pole of the battery. So negative of the battery goes to emitter, collector goes to diode and relay, then the other terminal of the relay goes to diode and to positive. From here from the positive pole also goes another piece of wire that puts a positive voltage on the photoresistor. The other end of the photoresistor goes to R1 in figure 21. Then it goes to the base of the transistor and that's it. Now I'm going to make a few tests so you can follow the explanation. This alligator comes from the negative terminal of the battery and I'm going to put it here on the negative nail of our improvised breadboard. Now we have the positive side, the red side of the batteries with another alligator. I marked it with a knot there to show it this, this is the positive one and then here's the other end of the alligator I will connect it right here. Now our breadboard is energized. Here we have 12 volts across these nails. Then as you may recall the positive side goes to the relay coil and the other end of the coil goes here. If I now connect this end of the coil here is going to activate the relay and I am going to do just that. This is another wire, this is just for the test. We are going to connect it here to the negative side of our battery and the other end of this test wire I'm going to connect it right here. You hear the relay click. This I am just placing a jumper across our transistor. Okay, now I'm going to remove this jumper and I'm going to put the diode in place. I'm sorry, I'll, I'm going to have to stop filming because I cannot do everything with just one hand. One moment, please. Now I just solder the diode here with the bar in the diode connected to the positive side of the supply.
Now I'm going to use my jumper again. Can you see the relay move? The next thing, the next thing I'm going to do is to place my transistor emitter base in collector right here. So I'm going to solder it. As you can see, I already soldered the transistor emitter base collector to the three nails. And the collector of course goes to, to one end of the relay coil and the other end goes to the positive side of the power supply. Next thing I will do is solder the resistor R1 in figure 21 to the base of the transistor which is this wire going from the base of the transistor to this nail to this other nail. Nothing else attached to it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. As you can see we already have our relay, our diode, our transistor, our battery connected there, positive and negative. And then we have this resistor R1 in figure 21. The only thing we need to have our circuit ready will be to connect our photoresistor right here. Of course right now the relay is deactivated. It's not activated. Now I'm going to connect the photoresistor to this couple of nails here. Now as you can see everything is ready to work. We have our relay, our dial, our transistor, our power supply, R1 and our photoresistor in place. Right now the relay is activated because of the room light is making the photoresistor conduct put some voltage on the base of the transistor which conducts and activates the relay. Now the relay contacts they are kind of difficult to see from here but uh, they are activated. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the photoresistor with this uh, cover from a pen. Right now I'm going to cover it. See? Can you hear that? Really go. See? This is because of the light not hitting the the uh, photoresistor anymore. You, maybe you can see both of them. Both the resistor and the relay. See how the relay works? See how it's activated when I remove the, the pen cover? See how it does it? And that's exactly what your circuit should do.